Welcome to the Create Sales Order video. This video shows you how to create a new sales order, save an order as a draft, and edit an existing sales order. Liz from Liz Computers just called and ordered a few items. I can create the new order by choosing Create in the List View screen or from an existing sales order with the New button. Another option is the main menu. But my favorite option is the Create Sales Order tile. I collapse the header to leave more room for the document. The tabs take me to the different sections of the sales order. Mandatory fields are marked with asterisks. I search for the customer name. This is an item type sales order. I choose the items the customer ordered. To view the gross profit of each line, I click the icon above the table and choose Gross Profit. I can change the price listed to be used for the gross profit calculation. I want to make sure we have enough available stock for the ordered item. I click the orange icon. I want to see the item record in a new tab, so I choose the View More option. By clicking the Inventory tab, I can see the available stock level. I go back to the sales order. In the Logistics section, I see that the bill to addressing is missing, so I define it. I can create the address for this order only, or save it to the Business Partner Master Data and even set it as default. I choose to save this address to the Business Partner Master Data record. I can locate an address using Google Maps. I would like to have another call with the customer before I save the order, so I choose Save As, Draft and View. Note that as I enter the data, the fields in the header are updated. I agree to give Liz a discounted additional item on each item she ordered, so I edit the sales order. I choose the rows and copy-paste them into this sales order. I change the quantity and the discount percentage. Note that I could also copy-paste the selected rows to a different document. Next, I add the order. This was the Create Sales Order video. 
Thanks for watching.